Bo, it's 2025, new year. You're like, I got a 3D printer. Need to organize the shop. What system should I use? You've seen the Gridfinity stuff, which is super cool. You've seen the hex wall, I think, stuff, which is super cool. But let me tell you about something that I think is even cooler, more cost effective, certainly more time effective than either of those systems for hanging stuff on your wall. Now those systems are awesome. I looked into them, I actually supported the hex wall um, project, you know, when I first uh, started looking into these things. Thought that was a really great idea. Obviously I got a 3D printer. When you have a 3D printer, your first thought is I'm gonna print every single thing. But then I started looking into how much I would have to print to cover most of my walls with the hex wall system. And this goes for Gridfinity as well. Um, you know, I have a bamboo P1P. It's roughly 250 by 250 millimeters, which again is approximately 10 inch by 10 inch square. And uh, I got a standard two car garage that eventually I'm gonna cover most, if not all of the walls with um, hanging stuff. And my workbench has hanging stuff behind it as well. Now, why am I hanging all the stuff all over the wall? I got ADD, bro. Like if it's out of sight, it's out of my mind. And I gotta have things readily available where I see them on a daily basis. Otherwise I forget I have them like super quickly and I end up with like six of the same thing because I forget I have it, don't know where it is, buy another one and away we go. So if you're looking at systems, right, I, I quickly figured out that those hex wall gridfinity systems to mount things on the wall, were gonna take an insane amount of time to print. So what I ended up going for the, basically the mounting system, if you will, is slat wall. And I found this by, you know, I was going through looking for various uh, hooks, hangers, and holders for my Ryobi power tools. Found a gentleman who had made a Ryobi mount for what he said was pro slat, which I don't know if that's Black & Decker or something, but that's a kind of tool slat wall, if you will. Now, the cool thing is slat wall is slat wall. Like it's industry standard, kind of like pegboard. Um, and any slat wall will work. You find slat wall in a lot of retail locations and a lot of people sell it and it's pretty easy to come by. I was able to go on Facebook Marketplace and found somebody who was, you know, just literally a few minutes from my house in a warehouse selling boxes of PVC slat wall. So I bought a box of uh, slat wall for $80 and it covers six foot by four foot uh, space, right? To print that in hex wall or gridfinity would take roughly 100 hours, right? 10 by 10 square takes two and a half hours on my bamboo with a 0.6 nozzle, by the way, so it's even a little bit faster than 0.4. Um, with PLA, one sheet, 10 hours. Now, I can stack them up, but it's, it's still gonna take 10 hours. It's just whether it's 10 hours on, um, uh, not 10 hours, it's still gonna take 100 hours, even if I stack them all on top of each other. And, uh, you know, that's just one six by four section. And looking around the shop, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sections, and I got another section and a half in a box over here that I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna deploy. So seven sections, $100, uh, 100 hours per section, that's 700 hours. That is a long, long time. So, and that's not even, I, then at that point, I just have the wall stuff up. I don't even have anything to hang anything on or put anything in or anything like that. And that was crazy. Then I also figured out that to print one of the sections with PLA, again, I'm using uh, Bamboo's PLA that I buy a bulk discount. So I even got it on sale for $12.99 and it was still gonna be $78 per section. And I'm buying a section of the PVC slat wall for 80. So to me, it's a no brainer, right? Super easy to install, find the studs, screw it in, bingo, and you're away you go. Now, the other cool thing is it's used in a lot of retail locations, a lot of retail stores. So if you are in anywhere close to a mid-sized metropolitan area, there's probably someone selling slat wall systems out of retail locations that they pulled out 
of those locations and they're selling them for fairly inexpensively. A lot of people are going out of business and they'll sell all of their, they're called retail fixtures. You'll see a lot of slat wall in there for that. And it's all standard stuff, right? The distance between the top and the bottom, all standard, right? It's slat wall, slat wall, slat wall. So what I did is once I found the Ryobi uh, holder, I didn't like the way it was designed at all. It's like two pieces, you glue them together or something. Had to print it with supports, like it was super, super annoying. So I went about and redesigned that. So I took basically the base off of that, the, the plate, if you will, and went a little crazy. Here's all the things I printed. Then I created this guy to hold all of the various driver bits, etc. I have this super tiny dude for holding batteries. Again, this is all Ryobi stuff. Now these chargers are on the screw mount ones that I'll show you a bit. Um, I have these, which are kind of general purpose. Um, screwdriver, you know, socket wrench, anything that's round kind of holders. Have a larger one that holds all of my Allen key drivers and um, holds these little screwdrivers. This one has a little bit bigger hole. I think I designed this one for a screwdriver, um, but it holds my, um, what is that? It's my reamer for metal. These are some of the hooks I was talking about that you can get that are, um, you know, super pretty tough. Uh, here's my reciprocating saw that I mentioned that it's just on a peg. Again, those are all pretty cheap. Uh, more pegs down here, more hooks. This is what I use a hook here for. It's got my metal detector, a bunch of like big backpacks full of crap and all kinds of stuff. And these are some Ikea shelves. And what I did with these is um, I used a flat connector and they have these little things that you're supposed to screw into the wall. I use one of the screw holders for that. Uh, come over here. Two pegs that are holding my Kobe, uh, Kobe, <laughs> Hobie drive on there. Um, these are some bins that I have off the shelf and I just like hot glued them to a flat basic uh, mount bracket. And that works okay. You can see like this one's coming off back here. Um, like, so it's not that I, I stopped using that solution, use super glue or actually screw them in, um, like drill holes and put them on bolts. I got these guys here for, um, for lenses. I got, what is that? My net bait, that net bait, what is that? It's bait fuel, bait fuel holder there. Again, just like kind of basic round holders. Again, another one with the lens in it. Uh, more hooks and pegs up there for various things. And this is what kind of kicked it all off for um, someone mentioned in my comments. I got these for all of my lure color bottles, these bigger ones for all of my mica powders, uh, bigger uh, glitter holders. I'll probably go back and make this one a little bit taller here. And again, more glitter holders. And again, another peg for some other mica I have that's in bags. Um, so again, that's why I really love this system is, you know, you got pegs, you got your custom holders, again, more hooks down there for my ventilator. Here is another use for the bolts uh, connectors, bolt plates I have. I just um, attach these, both of these um, power strips to them. You can see back there, holds them in place there just fine. So here's, um, these are the just basic flat plates. Again, you can use these to glue anything. I think one of these might be a magnet. I'm not sure. I did make a magnet holder where you can plop a, a magnet down in there. Um, none of these apparently, unless those are aluminum. But, um, oh yeah, no, here it is. here's one. So yeah, uh, this is probably the worst way to store a scalpel, but you can see there's a magnet in there. So there is uh, one with a magnet slot. You just pause the prints, drop the magnet in there and you're good to go. 
Um, these are the bolt-on ones that I mentioned. So they have just um, three slots in there. You can put, I believe this is an M5, but you know, anything that will fit through the slot and you can bolt on any, um, anything you want really, like that has holes in it for mounting. Um, you can mount there and again, it's nice and strong. It's what I did here. Oh, I got this guy here, which is uh, for gloves. It works pretty well. Um, these guys kind of slide around a bit much, but um, does the job. I have a um, paper towel holder. Again, it slides probably more than I like it to, but again, totally works. And prints nice and flat, no supports. Uh, these are some bins. These bins I 3D printed and then super glued onto the, on the deal. And then I got all um, excited and made my own bin here. This one is the only print that needs supports because you have to print it with this side flat to the bill plate and you got to support that edge there. But um, otherwise everything else prints without supports and this is a nice sturdy bin. So that's a quick run through. Again, these are more that are hot glued. Um, they started falling, so I've, I've been slowly replacing the hot glue ones with either 3D printed bins or my, uh, or super glued on there. But yeah, I think that's it for all of those deals there. So you can see I had the, the basic flat plate. I still print those out. I uh, use those to super glue things onto, things like that. Uh, I have a ton of other holders for a ton of other things. Uh, I always kind of, um, probably at this point, like once a month, I come up with something new to put on there. If you want these STL files to print yourself, there's a link below for the Maker World uh, site that I have them put on. Uh, give me a boost, whatever. Need some free filament, bro? Maybe a free printer? Give me some love. And if you need any other thing designed for the site wall system, feel free to reach out to me. Either leave a comment on this video, leave a comment on the Maker World page, shoot me an email, bill at wmbio.com. Super easy to find me, bro. And uh, enjoy. It is, it is the most economical thing I've found from a 3D printing standpoint to hang stuff on the wall. I can still make custom hangers, but the stuff that hangs on the wall, super cheap, super easy, super fast to install. And the other great thing is there's a lot of other already pre-made accessories, right? One of the problems I was having with the hex wall or the Gridfinity stuff from a wall mount standpoint is you can't get simple like posts that I hang like my bags on, right? Those are things that I feel are kind of silly to print, right? Like. They make those out of metal. They're, they're relatively inexpensive for a whole giant box of them. And it's what I need because that's what those things hang on, um, as well as a variety of other things, right? I hang my Hobie uh, drive on two of those pegs. I hang my reciprocating saw hangs on one of those pegs because I didn't feel like making something special for it, just hang it on a peg. It's all good. Um, you can also get these other kind of larger, sturdier hooks that I hang a lot of other random crap on my waiters things like that all over the place and um yeah it's all good bro you saw the other things i made if you got an idea for anything else you need made reach out to me bro all right take care